Yo, what is up guys? It is Cody PvP. Today we are going to be going over the viable medium armor build. Medium armor builds are inferior to heavy armor builds in this PvP meta. So today we're going to be going over how this is viable. We will be explaining why it's viable and how it works and I will be putting together some clips for a montage using medium armor only among the classes I have. So like Stam Nightblade, Stam Blar, Stam Zork, Stam DK. So let's first jump into the sets guys. We are running Blood Spawn and Storm Fist. You should be able you should be able to get Blood Spawn pretty easily. It's been in the game for quite a while now. It's an Undaunted set. It's going to be giving us the sustain of this build. So we are running Storm Fist as well, which is just like Blood Spawn. They both give Sam recovery for the One Piece. These are not ideal traits. Like we do have Sturdy on this, but you want to be running all seven medium for medium armor builds. The medium armor passives are really good, and you want to have seven to get the most benefit out of those passives. So a good um, mix of traits would be like 5 in pen, 2 well fitted, or 5 in pen, 1 divines, 1 well fitted. Anything that's well fitted divines or in pen should be good. For us, we do have 5 in pen, 1, one, one well fitted, 1 sturdy. So with the 5 piece, we are running Clever Alchemist. I really like this set because it gives health, and that's what medium armor builds lack. They have really low health, and it's really easy to be bursted when you're only running at 21k health, which is like the average for medium armor builds. So this bumps us up to 24, 23k? 24k, and on Stam Knight Blades, it's almost 25k. So that's really good. You're almost at the Black Rose health point. It also gives us insane damage. We get 129 for the 4-piece, and another 661 when drinking a potion. We can buff up real quick. Let's drink a potion, and our weapon damage goes to 4,600. If you would like to see the Disney Swing Tooltips, we have 17k and 17k for the Dawnbreaker Smiting as well. So that's really good damage, keep in mind. We're running three agility still, and the Maelstrom Weapons. So it's a pretty basic setup. We have 64 into Stamina, and we have the Serpent Munda Stone, and we are Vamp. The reason we are vamp is for the 10% stam recovery and some of the damage reduction passes it also gives you. For the skills we have a dizzying swing, biting jabs, critical rush, executioner, rally, dawnbreaker, or smiting. On the back bar we have restoring focus, repentance, shuffle, extended ritual, resolving vigor, and devouring swarms. Devouring swarms is optional. I tend to use this when I'm in trouble and have a lot of people onto me. It helps me be tanky and output some damage at the same time. <clears throat> For the CP, we have 62 and a Warlord, reducing our stamina cost. We have 72 and a Mooncalf, and 53 and a Tumbling. We have 10 and a Blessed, 77 and a Precise Strike, so 100 and a Mighty. For the Steed, we have 67 and a Resistant. We have 60 and 60 in both of these. Remember, the Unchained Passive is very valuable. You want to make sure you have this. And we don't have any points in to that. So that is it for the CP. So guys, basically, I really like this build because we have really good sustain. It's not the best. We have 1,600 on our front bar and 1,700 on our back bar. And with a pot, it goes up to 1,800, 1,900. And then when you kill someone with a two-hand, which is going to be the case because it is our main bar, we get another 30% on top of that. So you're looking at, like, 2K and above, which is really good. I find these sets to be great. They work great together. We have a lot of weapon damage. And we have a good amount of recovery, which is needed on medium armor builds. I feel like I can roll dodge plenty. I don't have any sustain problems. We also have repentance as our secondary sustain. So guys, that's pretty much it. I will be putting out clips, but I really like this build. I was playing around with it, and it works really well for me. I hope it works well for you guys. Anyways, I will be seeing you guys later. Hope you enjoy. Peace out, guys.